Welcome to Pinwheel. While you're waiting on your phone to arrive, let's take some time to set up your caregiver portal. We can complete this in about 10 minutes and you can pause the video and take as much time as you need to customize your child's Pinwheel phone settings to suit your family's values and schedules. We recommend using a desktop opposed to mobile if possible. Let's get started. First, we'll set up two accounts, one for you and one for your child. Your account will let you access the caregiver portal and your kid's account will be used to log into their phone. To set up your account, go to pinmo.com and click on caregiver portal in the top right corner. Click sign up and fill in the details. Use your email address, not your child's, and your phone number, which will be auto added as an emergency contact for your child. When you log in later, you can use your email address or your username, it's your choice. Please pause this video to write down your caregiver portal login credentials. You'll find a verification code in your email inbox. Check your spam folder if you don't see it right away. Now let's set up an account for your child. Press this add child button if you weren't automatically directed to the account creation screen. Fill in the form and then pause the video again to write down your child's username and password. It's especially important to write these credentials down since you'll need them to set up your Pinwheel smartphone when it arrives. We're all done with creating your two accounts. Next, let's explore the dashboard and the caregiver portal. The location map shows the current location of the Pinwheel device and it updates every few minutes as long as your child is connected to Wi-Fi or has cell service. You can also see the last 20 locations in the history section. The phone information panel gives you a quick overview of what's going on with your child's pinwheel. You can see their battery life, the pinwheel ID, which you'll provide to customer care if you have extra questions, and how much storage is on the device. Now let's start customizing your kid's phone, beginning with contacts. You can add contacts from the caregiver portal or your kid can make requests. The approved tab means that your child can contact these people. Rejected means that your child requested the contact and you chose to block the number. Pending means your kid is waiting for you to approve or reject the contact. And last, suggested means that we at Pinwheel want you to approve 911 in case of emergency. You can also manage the safe list to give your child more or less privileges here based on their maturity level. You can click on any approved contact to modify it and list it as an emergency contact. Groups works with a special pinwheel setting called modes. We'll talk about modes in just a bit, but for now, think of how you might group people such as family, friends, and schoolmates in your children's lives. In the phone history tab, you can view your child's call and text history. The call history is straightforward, but in addition to reviewing text messages, the text history has a couple cool features. First, you can approve and reject contacts based on text messages that only you can see. Second, you can enable text imaging. All right, let's skip ahead to routines. What you set up as a routine will appear on your child's pinwheel as a checklist at a specific time. You might customize the ready for the day routine or create an entirely new routine. You can drag and drop the categories based on what order you want them to appear on your child's phone. The routines are automatically saved, but you'll need to add them to a mode, which is one of Pinwheel's coolest features. Let's talk about that now. Click on days and modes to customize when selected contacts and apps will be available on your kid's phone. We have a couple of preset days in there for you. Um, you can change the names, make an exact clone or delete it altogether. If you want to customize a new type of day, click here. Next, you can set modes. For example, you might limit the phone's functionality during school hours, so you click new mode, type in a title, then select what makes sense for that time period. This is a great opportunity to spend time with your child talking about what's appropriate during the school day and why. 
selecting apps, which contacts are available, any checklists or routines that might appear on their phone and the mode category. Then in the days section, you apply it. You adjust how long that specific mode lasts and a prompt will ask you if you want this to repeat. You can easily adjust the phone to be all or nothing too. If you want the pinwheel to have no limitations, select open day. If you don't have a mode set, the phone automatically goes into nothing mode where no apps and only emergency contacts are available. If your kid is already using the phone when you change a mode, they'll need to reload the device for the change to appear. Actually, this reload button solves a lot of troubleshooting issues. To find this, ask your child to open the app called Pinwheel Settings and then click Reload Pinwheel. The last feature that we'll go over today is the kid's favorite, the apps. This is another opportunity to bond with your kid. Remember, Pinwheel staff hand selects these apps based on our Board of Therapists criteria. If we see anything that you want to avoid, like adult content on Spotify. You'll see that warning in the description. There it is. If you choose to an app, if you choose to allow an app, click the toggle button. You can even set the mode so the app is only available at certain times. Of course, if you no longer want an app, just click the toggle button again. Last thing, when you add a new app, remember to tap Reload Pinwheel in the Pinwheel Settings app. And that's the Pinwheel Caregiver Portal. If you have any questions, click on Help to open an FAQ page or chat with one of our amazing customer care team members. We want you and your kid to know and love everything about your new Pinwheel phone. And we are always happy to answer any questions.